From totally breaking the game with unlimited wins, to music that won't switch off, and items that just completely broke Fortnite. Today, we're going to be looking at 15 times when Fortnite managed to piss off the entire community. All right, now starting off with number one, it's chapter two, season one, which is honestly a personal dark time in Fortnite for me. Now, we've all dealt with a lot of things over the years while playing this game, but chapter two, season one was the single longest season Season and the longest time where we didn't get updates in the entire history of Fortnite. This season went on for over four months. And on top of that, after the first few weeks, they completely stopped content updates, meaning that we went almost three months without anything new being added to the game. Now, one of the things that makes Fortnite so good and so fun these days is that you can come back every week with map changes, new items, new weapons, and always new content. So going three months without a new item in the game, people started to go kind of insane. And if that wasn't enough, they opened the new season by vaulting almost every single item in the game other than basic ARs, basic shotguns, and basic SMGs. Meaning that not only did we not receive anything new, there was already almost nothing to play around with. That was definitely a tough season for memes. All right, now it's time for number two, because when chapter two, season two rolled around, a lot of us were thinking that this was finally going to save the game. And in a lot of ways it did. Season two was one of the all time great Fortnite seasons. We had bosses, we had vaults, we had henchmen. It was pretty great. But one thing that people got pretty angry at Epic about was the fact that once you entered one of these areas, henchman music would just never switch off. It didn't matter what your audio settings were. It didn't matter what any setting was. For the entire season, as long as you were in these POIs, you just had henchman music blasting 24 seven. And after about the hundredth time when someone walked up right behind me and shot me in the back because I couldn't hear them coming with all this music playing, I, I kind of wanted to shout at Epic too. All right, now for number three, which is the longest running game breaking glitch that for whatever reason, Epic never decided to fix. And yes, I'm talking about the zero point. Now this one has some mixed feelings for me because I simultaneously loved this, but then also was in total disbelief how Epic never decided to fix it. Because once you got the Mandalorian rifle, you were able to build up to the zero point and then continuously charge in and out of it, even down to the final zone. And because of the insane healing it did, you would be able to outheal any other player. Now this completely game breaking glitch gave you a totally guaranteed victory royale. And not only that, Epic literally didn't fix it for the entire season. Meaning a lot of people had their games ruined by something that, uh, could have been changed pretty easily. Now, you might be thinking that we're done with Chapter 2 criticisms, but uh, sadly not, because in Season 7 of Chapter 2, Epic added the infamous UFO, which absolutely terrorized every single Fortnite lobby for pretty much the entire season. They had unlimited fuel, unlimited weapon ammo, no weapon cooldown, and on top of that, if you picked up an object, you could literally just walk it into someone and get a free instant kill. Now, I feel like this one was especially traumatizing for me because the number of times where I was live streaming and three UFOs would come over the hill and just start spamming me with infinite amounts of ammo was honestly pretty much every day. Now, Epic ended up throwing down some slight nerfs to the UFOs, but I gotta say, as much as I love them to rotate around the map and find enemies, I, uh, I was, I was pretty happy to see them gone. All right, we're gonna go easy on chapter two for a second, and instead, we're gonna go back to Fortnite chapter one and talk about another weapon that was added to the game that had people pretty pissed. And that was the combat shotgun. Now, if you've only used the combat shotgun in chapter two, you won't know what we're talking about here. But when this thing first landed in Fortnite, it was an absolute sniper. Like seriously, people called it the shotgun sniper. It had such a tight spread and such a fast fire rate, you could literally take enemies out at 100 meters. Combining that with a fast reload and a pretty high base damage, this shotgun basically just destroyed the game for the longest time. It was basically like double pumping being back, but uh, you only needed one gun. But no matter how broken the combat shotgun was, it will never be as broken as the next item on our list, which is the Infinity Blade. Arriving at the top of Polar Peaks, this was the very first mythic added to the game. And these days, 
Mythics are a little bit better than a standard weapon, but they're normally just something a bit unique. They give you a bit of a twist. Or if they're Darth Vader's lightsaber, they just kind of suck. But as the first Mythic in the game, Epic clearly wanted to come in with a bang, and their solution to doing that was to make it just the most overpowered thing that has ever been added. Other than what we're going to talk about for number 15, because that... That was even worse. You got increased movement speed. You got your health and your shields doubled. You got to regen health and shields passively just while holding it. And the damage was just insane. And not only that, Epic didn't even remove this in competitive mode, leading to some of the most hilarious final zones in the game's history. Gonna get another one here. He's gonna be trapped inside of the storm, though. Does it matter? He can Oh my where god! He wants to be right now. Gets he another catches someone elimination. Else. He's on a killing He's screen. Oh my players. word! He has picked up eight one. eliminations, oh ten my god. eliminations. He's a god! And after that, it also led to a lot of very angry pro players. All right, our next item on the list is again from chapter one, which was the first flying vehicle that Epic added into the game. We're not counting quad crashes because you honestly probably sort of could. But yes, I'm talking about planes. And when these things came into the game, the entire Fortnite community was pissed. They had a huge amount of health. They had unlimited fuel. And I think craziest of all were the guns that were mounted on either side of the plane. Because these things not only dealt fat amounts of damage, they dealt splash AOE damage. Meaning all you had to do was point it in the general direction of an enemy and there was basically nothing you could do. And on top of that, because the bullets were guaranteed to hit, good luck trying to shoot back at the plane because it will take you out 10 times over before you even manage to hit it once. And just in case you didn't end up finishing them off with the cannons, you could just boost into what's left of their builds and get a pretty guaranteed easy finish. Now, Epic obviously did eventually nerf these and honestly, I think people were pretty happy. All right, next up, we've got the guided missile launcher, which was coming at us all the way from chapter one, season three. Now, part of me wonders if this would be quite as broken if it was in the game today. But back in OG Fortnite, people didn't really know how to build. They didn't really know how to stop missiles. And they also didn't really know how to farm. So you ran out of materials pretty quickly. On top of that, the fact that you had unlimited explosive ammo back then meant that you could pretty much just spam homing missiles across the map infinitely to get pretty much free wins. And good luck if you think you were going to dodge one of these things, because the OG guided missile could basically turn 180 degrees in a second. That said, you could do some pretty sick self-rocket rides with it, so I honestly kind of miss it. All right, next on our list, what do you get if you get an SMG? Increase its base damage by a huge amount, increase its fire rate, also decide to increase its clip size, and then just make it sound like an absolute truck. You get the drum gun. Now, a lot of items that Fortnite adds to the game, you really wonder what they were thinking. And I feel like that kind of sums up my feelings about the drum gun when they added it in chapter one, season four. This thing was basically just better than an SMG in every single way. And on top of that, it even destroyed builds faster. The fact that this thing did body shots that were 25 and headshots that were over 50, meant that you would basically get deleted in about 0.1 seconds of this thing getting into your box. So thank God it finally got nerfed because I don't know if there has ever been a reign of terror quite as terrible as the drum gun. Actually, wait, no, I take that back because the next item on our list is the mounted turret, which for anyone who was around when this first landed in the game is probably still seeing a therapist. Now this was first released in chapter one, season six. And when it arrived, it was a plantable platform with over 8,000 health. But what was probably the most broken about it is it was almost completely uncounterable. Now, normally when you use a turret in a video game, you're trading increased firepower for the fact that you are incredibly, incredibly vulnerable, planted in one position. However, Epic decided to basically give the mounted turret absolutely no headshot vulnerability. Vulnerability. That's right. If you were looking at someone who was pointing a turret in your direction, it was almost completely impossible to take them out. As their entire hitbox, both body all the way up to head, was completely covered behind this 8,000 HP turret. Combine that with unlimited ammo, a pretty generous overheat time, and the fact that you could repair the turret for the cost of one metal instantly. This definitely ruined a lot of Fortnite games for a very long time. I think the only good thing that came out of the mounted turret was how you could trap people underground with it. Honestly, 
They were the good days. All right, number 11 on our list is gonna be Marauders, added in chapter two, season three. Now, henchmen these days are pretty basic, with most of them just armed with a simple SMG. However, when Marauders first arrived, they could spawn with everything from RPGs to hunting rifles to shotguns. And not only that, but they would spawn in pretty big numbers as well. Now, while some people were farming these guys to get some pretty good free loot, a lot of people were having some pretty frustrating encounters with them. Some of these guys pretty much had aimbot, and I think a lot of people were happy to see them go at the end of season three. All right, number 12 is a pretty infamous one on our list, and that is double pumping. Definitely one of the most controversial broken things that has ever been in the game. Now, for the two people watching this who don't remember, double pumping basically allowed you to change very quickly between two pump shotguns and completely avoid the reload time. Combine that with the fact that the OG pump shotgun used to deal basically double the damage it does today, and this meant that you could output some of the craziest damage numbers in Fortnite history. Now, a lot of streamers and content creators loved this because they were the only ones who initially had time to learn it. But once it became more main spread, this basically completely ruined close range combat in Fortnite. And ultimately, Epic made the decision it had to go. All right, guys, number 13 is going to be the arrival of cube monsters on the chapter one island. Now, normally these days when we get zombies, it's for a very, 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 very short limited time event. But when the cube monsters first arrived on the Fortnite map, these guys were here for literal months and you couldn't do anything in Fortnite without running into them. Now, for some people, they were a fun little change, but for the majority of the community, all they were was a pure annoyance when you were just trying to play some good old Fortnite and crank 90s on your enemies. And when a giant gold cube monster comes through the bottom of your builds to knock them all down, you're not too happy about it. Now, we did manage to do some pretty fun things like trying to build giant zombie armies to take around the map, but Honestly, at the end of the day, I think by the time cute monsters were taken out of the game, the entire community was pretty happy about it. All right, time for our second last item on the list, which is going to be one of my all-time favorites, the Spire Assassin's Mythic Primal Shotgun. Now, getting your hands on this was a little bit tough as the Spire Assassin was wielding the very item that was broken, meaning it was pretty easy to get absolutely decimated by it. But once you got your hands on this shotgun, you could basically walk through your enemies entirely. Now, this shotgun had a DPS of over 200, meaning you could literally eliminate one player a second. On top of that, it had one of the fastest fire rates and fastest reloads in the the game. And for the first month of season six in chapter two, I combined this shotgun with the shockwave bow and actually managed to get a win rate of over 40%. Yes, me, a win rate, 40%. That's how broken this was. Now it did eventually get nerfed into the ground, but for a few weeks there, I was a god. And the Fortnite community was pissed. And all right, guys, it is time for the final, the most infamous thing to ever piss off the entire Fortnite community. I know what it is. You know what it is. My grandma probably knows what it is. It's the mech. Slamming into the ground in Fortnite Season X, this was one of the most hilariously, ridiculously, outrageously broken things that I have ever seen in any video game ever, let alone Fortnite. I don't know what Epic Games was smoking when they decided to do the balancing on this item, but clearly they thought a vehicle with thousands of HP, a machine gun rocket launcher, huge mobility, the ability to stomp through infinite builds, and when you destroy those builds, get free materials. And basically every other broken thing you could have given under the sun, they for some reason thought that this thing was balanced. The mech in its original state had no counter. It didn't matter how fast you could build, those missiles would break through and delete you in 0.1 seconds. So guys, to round this video off, please just enjoy a beautiful little montage of everyone hating Fortnite for adding the mech to the game. There's a whole like... This game is so trash. Oops. 
shouldn't self-destruct it. Just, just run fucking straight at it. Jump in the self -destruct. Oh my god, this game is so bad, bro. I'm about to not, I'm about to just uninstall. I uh, my buggy. Oh, oh shit! My. Oh my! I hate this game. He's got a six. Oh. He got six kills. All of them right five. there. All of the kills. He got five. Every single one of them. How does an entire team just die like that? Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Code Muselk in the Fortnite item shop. And as always, I'll see you legends in the next one. Bye bye.